All right, here's today's money saving tip. It's tax season, which means I need you to be aware of one very important difference. And that is the difference between tax credits and tax deductions. We have talked a lot on here about tax credits, specifically for things involving energy, because federal legislation over the last few years has allowed for a lot of potential tax credits in this area. So as a reminder, please do not forget to actually claim those tax credits. It is not automatic. Something that you actually have to state when filing. But remember, tax credits reduce the amount you owe in taxes. Tax deductions reduce the amount of income that is taxable. So in basic terms, if you had the option to do $100 in a tax credit or $100 in a tax deduction, you're going to want $100 in tax credit because it just works out to more. But of course, you also have to claim those deductions. And if you don't work with a qualified tax planner, there are some deductions you should research. State sales tax. Depending on where you live, this could be a big deal. Out-of-pocket charitable contributions. Student loan interest paid by you or paid by someone else. Moving expenses if you are a military personnel. While most people lost this deduction, military personnel did not over the last few years. Child and dependent care. And then a couple credits. In addition to the really big energy ones we talked about, which by the way, don't forget if you did improvements. Some of those might qualify. New appliances, windows, weatherization. There's also the child and dependent care tax credit, as well as the earned income tax credit. If you can't work with a trained professional, then make sure that you're doing your research and doing it really, really well. The IRS is not going to do it for you.